It's a common misconception that cloth nappies are smelly, but I'm here to tell you now that if your cloth nappies aren't smelling so good, then something has gone wrong because cloth nappies should not smell bad. Today, I'm gonna to take you through five ways that you can adjust your nappy washing routine so that you make sure you have lovely, fresh, clean smelling nappies every single time. hesitant to make a video about smelly cloth nappies because I didn't want to feed the myth that cloth nappies are smelly and particularly that they're smellier than disposable nappies. Having used both for several years and spoken to lots of parents who've used both, I will tell you now that it's almost always the case that disposable nappies are smellier. If you are struggling with cloth nappies though, it's quite normal. You'll probably find once or twice in your cloth nappy journey that you need to tweak things, particularly if you come across a new washing machine or you start using a new detergent or something like that. So today I'm just here to tell you that it's normal and to give you some tips while working through the problem so that you can have really lovely clean nappies every single time. My first tip and the one that is absolutely imperative if you're ever coming up against smelly cloth nappies is to make sure you're using enough detergent. In my experience, this is the reason for smelly cloth nappies probably nine times out of 10 when I speak to people who are struggling. People don't realise quite how much detergent you need for cloth nappies. They're heavily soiled, they're very, very dirty, and they need a good amount of detergent to make sure that they're getting properly clean. Now, most of us will be used to washing clothes and will often just take a scoop of powder or a cap of powder and just pop it straight into the machine. And it usually does the job because our clothes aren't particularly dirty. But cloth nappies obviously are much dirtier than most of our clothes and so they need a really good amount of detergent to make sure that the washing machine is going to do its job. You might not have ever done this before but it's a really good practice to make sure that you're measuring out the detergent that you're using. You should do this every time you try a new detergent and maybe just once in a while double check that you're using the right amount. To start with you want to take a look at the little table on the side of the box that shows you how much detergent to use in different scenarios. So along one side of the table there'll be different levels of soiling. You want to go for the most soiled end of the table and then there'll also be rows or perhaps columns for water hardness. To know how hard your water is in your area the best thing to do is to just google water hardness in area and it will tell you how hard your water is. So here in London our water is very hard which means I need to make sure that I'm using the hard level on the table. Once you've cross-referenced heavy soiling and your water hardness you'll be able to see the amount that is recommended by the manufacturer of that particular powder or liquid. Now you want to make sure that you're actually weighing out or measuring out the amount that you're using. So get a measuring jug or your scales and see how many scoops it takes to make up that amount. You will almost certainly be surprised by quite how much it is. The first time I did this, I was shocked. <laughs> and to give you an idea, I usually find that I need to use over three scoops of powder in each wash. Once you've got an idea of how many scoops you're going to use each time, you don't obviously need to measure it every single time. Just get a rule of thumb. Maybe it's three scoops, three and a half scoops, and then you'll know every time exactly how much you need to put in. The second reason that your cloth nappies might not be coming out clean enough is that you're not doing a long enough cycle on your washing machine. Now, usually what's recommended for cloth nappies is that we do a short cycle or a rinse cycle first, just to get the worst off. You can use a small amount of detergent or no detergent at all in that step, depending on how you particularly get on. But then after that initial short wash, it's really important to do the longest cycle that your machine can manage, and ideally over three hours. It's worth actually looking up in the manual of your washing machine, which cycle lasts the longest so that you make sure that you're definitely getting the right one. I wouldn't necessarily assume that the labeling on the machine is helpful in this particular scenario. The other thing to take note of is if your washing machine is like an eco bubble or any of these other machines that weigh the laundry in inside the washing machine. 
The reason for this is that often we won't fill our machine completely full when we're washing cloth nappies, but if you're not filling it full and your machine is weighing it, then it might assume that it needs to wash it slightly less than you want it to. So you'll need to find a clever way to work around that, either by just loading in um, perhaps a towel or something extra to trick it into thinking it's fuller, um, or perhaps manually adjusting it if that's what your washing machine allows. The third reason that your cloth nappies might be coming out smelly is that you're not doing a pre-wash or a pre-rinse. Like I said in the previous step, we always want to do a super long cycle of our main wash, but before we do that, it's really helpful to run a short cycle just to get the worst of the soiling off the nappies. Obviously, you will have got rid of the poo down the toilet before you even put them in the washing machine, but it's still really helpful to have a good rinse right before we go into the main cycle. Some people like to just use the rinse and spin function on their washing machine and have absolutely no, no trouble with that. But if you find that you're struggling with smelly nappies and you've tried all the other tips, then one thing you might like to try is switching the rinse cycle for a short normal wash cycle, if that makes sense. So on my machine, there's a setting called Speed Perfect where I can choose any other setting and then um, choose speed perfect and then it will reduce the length of the cycle. So usually what I do for my first wash is do a speed perfect version of my 40 degree wash with half the amount of detergent and that just helps them to get an extra little level of cleaning before they go onto their big main wash. Now obviously what's available to you on your machine will really depend on what machine you have but generally speaking the inbuilt pre-wash functions are not effective enough at this. They will usually just rinse water through and sometimes it's recycled from the previous wash which if you're washing nappies a lot is not necessarily something that you want to do. So I would not advise using the inbuilt pre-wash function. Reason number four why you might be struggling with cloth nappies is actually not that much to do with your washing and more to do with your baby. One of the most common reasons why people get stinky nappies is that their children are teething. Teething wee is just quite potent. It's to do with um, how much saliva the baby is producing and then that um, creates wee that's more acidic, I believe, and that then can converts more quickly into something called ammonia. When your baby is teething, it's a really good idea to rinse your nappies straight away to make sure that the um, wee doesn't convert into ammonia, which is what makes the nappies really, really stink. So if your baby is teething at the moment, I'm sorry, poor you. <laughs> but also a really good thing to do is just to take maybe um, after each nappy, just give it a really quick rinse um, under a hot shower and um, obviously clean down your bath or your shower afterwards um, or perhaps just give it a rinse in the toilet flush really quickly just to get the worst of the urine off so that it's not sitting there and converting into ammonia. This is particularly the case for night nappies. I think they're the worst culprits for smelling and that's because obviously the nappy has already been sitting there on baby over the whole night. So I would definitely recommend rinsing night nappies as soon as you can after they wake up um, and making sure that they've got the worst off so that they're not sitting there for a while. Now tip number five is not quite a tip for adjusting your washing going forward but is a tip for dealing with the smells right now. So if you've got through the rest of the video then maybe hopefully you've got some really good ideas of how to adjust your nappy washing routine going forward but you still need to deal with particularly dirty nappies now and know how to kind of reset them to get them back to being clean so that you can have a good routine going forward and to deal with that you need to do what's called a nappy strip wash and this is tip number five. Now there are different methods for doing a nappy strip wash out there. Some people advocate using bleach um, and while I have personally used bleach once or twice on very very soiled pre-loved cloth nappies before I don't think it's needed in all circumstances so I would say proceed with caution see what you would prefer and perhaps use this gentler method that I'm going to suggest first before resorting to um, heavy lifting things like bleach. So firstly you need to run your normal wash cycle for nappies just as you would always do. So that means a short rinse cycle or short wash followed by a long hot wash at 40 or 60 degrees with um, plenty of detergent like I mentioned in the first step. 
and then after that without drying your nappies you need to run a second go of the long cycle but this time with no detergent so just let the same cycle run but don't add any more detergent when that cycle has come to the end you want to run rinse cycles over and over again until you don't see any more suds in the washing machine and once you don't see those suds anymore you know that your nappies are nice and clean and you can take them out and hang them up to dry. I've often found that um, leaving them out to air for a couple of days maybe slightly longer than you would usually is also good for just making sure that they get super bone dry and stay really clean. If you find that that method doesn't work then at that point you might want to resort to bleach but like I say um, it really shouldn't be needed. If you do use bleach, I will warn you that you need to be super careful, obviously, that you're using the right dilution, um, that you're washing it out really well. And also um, you need to bear in mind that if you use bleach, it will often invalidate the warranties on your nappies. So if your nappies are still in warranty and you want to keep the warranty intact, then I would definitely steer clear of bleach. If you have enjoyed this video and found the tips helpful, then you will almost certainly enjoy this one where I shared all the things I wish I'd knew when I started cloth nappying. I've been doing it for about five years now and I wish I knew some of the stuff right back when I started. So definitely go and have a look at that one. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Bye.